this video we are going to create the second part of engine modeling. Before some days one of my subscriber asked me to model a tutorial about engine modeling so that's why I'm going to create this another video about engine modeling which is the part 2 one and in that we are going to make him texture and light and shade with the rendering. So let's get it started. First of all, as you can see, this is my previous model and you can get the link in the description. So I'm going to go to the material editor first and go to the video material and I will select those some, some of the objects already and we'll create a basic material on it and which is going to be a chrome material. So I'm going to take uh, from this part as a black color or somehow 80% from RGB. I think 22 is the best one. So here it is. I'm going to clear my gamma connection first and uh, just going to select this one. The reflection. And I will increase the reflection value because the engine modeling has to be done toward the crew material. So we have to increase the reflection value first and also remove the check from the furnel. But before that has to be done, the glossiness is 0.8%. So you can feel this is the kind of a reflection on it. All right. So now I'm going to take a second video material this time and uh, we'll select an individual object. And I'm going to give the value of 38% red. And also the reflection value is approx 47% uh, with glossiness value of 0 0.9. And also I have to assign this one so I'm going to assign this one is a red material all and as well I'm going to select uh, the top part of this engine and I will assign this the red materials here so the thing is that you will have to select some individual object by uh, assigning these materials also I'm going to uh, clear some more changes in it but before that I'm just going to assign a basic materials and this part, this joint, and this scaling. These all the fours has to be a uh, maroon crumb materials. And it's up to you. There's not a simple condition. It's up to you that how to use these materials. Maybe you can make the in entire engine room, and also you can make the colorful engine, but. Uh, you will have to allow and you have you will have to do this with a colorful engine because uh, there are some parts are the chromes and the some parts are the fiber material uh, so this time is a third video material i'm going to go to the bitmap and i will take my texture here from the this one this is called bg it has to be done like a golden material so Remove the check from the furnace and increase the reflection value. So you can see this material is going to reflect the values of it with 0.9 glossiness. And also I'm going to remove check from the furnace of the red material as well. And from the polygon, I'm going to select them this part. And on that top, I'm going to assign golden material. So this is kind of a combo of the red and chrome material and the golden chrome material. So I'm going to select this part as well on the top of the engine and apply this one. Okay, open the group and select them like this. Perfectly done and assign the golden material. But as you can see that if I have uh, created these the joints of the screws in the engine so definitely we have to fill this so in that part I'm gonna assign this one another material and that will be my black color because I'm gonna assign this materials on the screws the screws will be my black with 0 0.8 glossiness and here I'm gonna assign this, this select all of them one by one that's perfectly done and I'm going to assign this black material 
the same thing I'm gonna do this on the another side of this engine that's black material okay see all these screws has to be black these all the joints will be golden and in here I'm gonna talk about this one so just select gradually and I'm gonna make them a golden first select their screws one by one and assign them a black color same thing happened on the another side of the engine just select them and assign them a black color these are mechanical parts what we need to do this uh, with a golden color but the base part of this it has to be in, in the black and this rubber band is a black as well also just the entire the screws of the engine will be a black so I have done this as a, as a basic materials in it so just like this spark and uh, because I have already created this as a symmetrical object so that's why if I will do this on the right side so it will has to be done on the automatically left side so I'm gonna select this one one by one gradually and uh, it will be done like uh, no that's one selected has to be a golden color but the rest of the engine has to be done into the chrome material so I'm gonna select uh, the same thing I'm gonna select from the other side one by one gradually you can select it, them and also do this like this okay so that that's looking a little bit perfect but not completely because we don't have a light in this scene so don't worry about that we'll do this again and I'm gonna select this part with golden material and there this part has to be black and their nut bolts has to be black and you can select them one by one close this group now turn on another group both group has to be black and open them just select their parts like this and make them golden the same thing happened here all of them are black but the some part of this engine has to be golden and also do this with the same all of them black but this part has to be added into, into the golden color the same thing I'm gonna do this on the another side but before that just try, try this one and uh, just like all of them select their black color and assign them and after that open their groups select their parts gradually or individually and then assign golden color okay same thing happen like this and also same thing happen like this so now as you can see that uh, we have already designed them and also textured them more than 70 percent but this part has to be done as well so I'm going to select all of them, assign their black color like this. Once again, open their groups and their top, their gauge, and their base has to be golden. Same thing happened, their top, their gauge, and their base has to be golden. But the inside of this black has to be black. That's why I have to make them black first like this and now close their groups again you will do this from the left side as well open their groups first assign the black color then open their groups and select their top cage and base 
and assign them golden color. The same thing happened here, perfectly done, and they're golden colors. Now it looks cool and it looks uh, a little bit creative first and also close their all advanced groups which is we don't need them select their individual parts and assign their golden colors okay so now that let's talk about their back side of it so i'm going to open their back side and select their screws first give them a black color because uh, uh, from my own point of view that i'm going to make their screws are black and some of them has to be chrome like this this one has to be red and this one has to be chrome okay so now let's talk about this i'm going to assign black color all of them and after that after assigning i'm going to open their groups okay i'm going to open their groups and select their individual materials individual object i will make them this part like this okay close the groups now turn on their groups open them select their base cage and top will be golden close their groups now let's talk about them select them and close the groups after the closing the groups uh, now let's talk about this one and uh, they're all the chrome material but we don't need their all as a chrome that's why I'm going to select them individual object by opening their groups this one has to be a black one but uh, not all of them so before starting I'm gonna make them black then I will open their group and I will select them individually with the chrome materials some of them has to be a red material some of them has to be a golden material so that's why we have to look at them very carefully these object has to be done into the chrome material after the done this chrome material you will have to close them the groups okay so let's talk about uh, this one or maybe we are going to assign them chrome or maybe we are going to assign them a black color but this time has to be done into the chrome but there is screws i will select their screws first and we'll make them black same thing happened with this part i'm going to select their screws and we'll make them a black on, on this part We'll have to done to the red chrome material and also will be done into the into the golden selection object with the polygon material so as you can see this one this black box will be done into the colors as well so i'm going to open this box we'll select their object individually make them golden or maybe like this has to be done from the left side as well okay so select individually and then make them a golden first okay so i'm going to close all of them and my engine is already uh, textured properly so the time is that i'm going to save this scene and uh, with the name of engine modeling because I have already done with their textures. This is the atmosphere I have and uh, I'm going to merge my engine in this atmosphere because I've already textured and lighting this uh, scene. So I'm just going to import my engine here and I will put my engine on the floor. It's kind of a scene of a garage so it will easily help to create because uh, we have already created so much reflections so reflection will not work if you don't have any atmosphere definitely atmosphere will reflect in the object 
so I'm gonna put my engine on the base of here like this on this side like and uh, here I'm going to take duplicate by holding shift key and I will rotate my own engine from this part that's why I have to show them from the both side front side and the back side so this is my modeling has to be done I'm gonna take uh, All right, take the renders. So let's see how it looks like. And it looks beautiful with the perfect reflection. So I like to say thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you learned this and if you like this, so subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you.